There are so many women, you know. We, we go through cancer and, you know, we, we come out on the other end, we feel blessed, and then you end up with lymphedema, and there's no cure. Lymphedema often will happen to patients who've uh, had breast cancer before and have had lymph nodes removed as a part of that treatment. Recent technology uh, has given rise to something called lymph node transplant, where we take healthy lymphatic tissue from one part of the body and literally transplant it to where it's missing in an effort to recreate the lymphatic channels to alleviate the lymphedema. Well, this is uh, essentially a new, uh, early in its, in its development, this type of surgery, and so uh, we're looking at potentially several months before we start to see improvement. Well, surgery was successful. We're, we're pleased with the initial results. Um, it's going to be several months, of course, until we know the long-term clinical outcome. In other words, will she be able to get out of her compression garments? Will she be able to have more dexterity with her hand? Uh, however, initially she's already reporting a significant improvement in her hand function. Some women just have a slight case. Mine has been pretty severe. And so I have really had to sometimes just not, not go where I wanted to go because I couldn't put my coat on because my arms won't go in the seat. Well, we have some physical therapy ahead of us. Oh, we're get yeah. you back on kind of an intensive regimen. Yes. And uh, we're going to watch things real closely and, you know, again, our goal is hopefully you'll be knitting something yeah. nice for us sometime soon. Yes, because like that. I, I, that's, that's my thing. I, I love working with my hands. I do a lot of uh, quilting and sewing. So that's my thing and I'm anxious to get back to hand to hand so Paula can get me, get me uh, on the road to uh, getting normal again. I'm, I'm very excited. I really am.